A family is desperate for answers after one of their loved ones has gone missing. Good evening. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Trent Butler. Antonio Salas has been missing since Friday afternoon. WIT 42 News reporter Lillian Lalo joins us live from his home in Fultondale with details on his disappearance. Lillian. Well, there are certainly more questions than answers at this point. Now, Antonio, he was new to the area, and the family tells me he would never venture out. In fact, he had a fear of getting lost. Now, they've posted these missing posters throughout the neighborhood asking for any information if anyone has seen him. Now, the family also showed me pictures on their cell phones. Some of these were taken recently while they were on a family beach trip last week. Now, they also showed me his room, and the only thing missing from his room is his backpack, but his cell phone was still under his pillow. Now, I'm told he would never leave without his cell phone. He's also diabetic, and the family fears that at this point he could be delirious or in a coma or a diabetic coma. Now, he doesn't have a car, and he also doesn't drive because his left leg is amputated. He walks with a maroon cane, and the family says no one would want to hurt him that they know of. They're just trying to figure out where he could be tonight. His daughter is desperate for answers. And I just want him home. I'm worried about him. I take care of him, you know. I mean, for an elderly man with a prosthetic leg out there by himself in a place he doesn't know, yes, I'm very scared for him. Now, the neighbors say they saw him walking on a nearby trail, or they think they may have spotted him, but the police dogs cannot pick up his scent. Now, to clarify, he went missing on Friday, and police started searching for him on Saturday, and it's only continued from there. We're live in Fulton Lillian Lalo, WIAT 42 News, coverage you can count on.